Hello guys. This is your reading for June 15th through the 30th. This is a love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, guys. Let's see what we've got for you guys going on this for the remainder of the month. I hope it's some uh, good energy. I can deliver some good messages to you guys. What's going on around my Capricorns? Ooh, that's your card. That's the devil there. Um, you could be feeling very attached to someone. Hang on one second, guys. Sorry. Um, you could feel like, you know, you just cannot escape somebody. Or you guys could just be working very, very hard right now. Putting in a lot of work. Um an effort into your careers your jobs let's see let's go a little deeper into this and see what's crossing you guys here the strength who there's a lot that you are struggling with you're fighting um you're fighting a tendency here um as far as taming the beast so there there's something that you guys are are trying to avoid you're trying to muster up the strength to maintain your composure around something here Leo energy here with a strength could be a Leo some of you guys are um, dealing with or is of concern to you let's see what the underlying issue is here the four of cups <laughs> I feel that there's somebody that is freaking pissing you off um this person is acting like they just don't care here with this four of cups energy that is your opposite um sign so this person is very challenging to you and i feel like this person is doing you feel they're doing this on purpose to get to you is what i'm getting from this so I'm feeling like you're trying to control your anger because it's like, you know, I can act an ass on a good day, but you know what? I'm, I'm trying to, you know, cool my jets and I feel that's what you guys are doing right now. There, I feel like somebody that's like ticking you off. Okay. Let's see. In the recent past, the Ace of Wands. Hmm. This is this is um <laughs> this is a lot of sexual attraction. Okay. I feel like there was something that you started in the past. Um but I'm I'm getting that it, it started as a sexual thing, but um I, I'm feeling that somebody is really kind of catching feelings, but initially there was an agreement or not necessarily an agreement but an understanding that um you know you just kind of have you're having fun and and not really putting expectations or um, labels on what it is that you guys were doing and i feel that you guys have kind of developed an attachment for this person possibly cancer leo individual here and this person is really still standing by what you know began initially between the two of you it's like their feelings are not changing it's not progressing into something more i'm feeling that you guys are probably wanting something more from this person than they are willing to give or vice versa okay let's see what your crowning thoughts are here Capricorns crowning thoughts this is not the energy I wanted this is the Queen of Swords energy this is what you're thinking you're thinking about cutting this person off telling giving this person a piece of your mind okay letting them have it basically everything that you're feeling all the anger that you're feeling and walking away breaking up whatever it is that you have going on with this person be it um, something just fun or whether um, it's a relationship. It's like you're thinking about just giving up on it. Tell them a piece of your mind and walking away. Okay. But I do feel that you just want to know what the deal is here. 
okay this is what you're wanting you're wanting to know what the deal is you don't want to lose your cool you know but I, I feel like I'm feeling like you guys are feeling strung along um, and it's, it's like ticking you off okay what's coming in for Capricorn what's coming in for Capricorn three of swords disappointment you really want to have a conversation with this person and it's really hurting you um, that things are not progressing I feel the way that you would like to see them progress you want to have a conversation about this you want to iron out whatever kinks um, are in this right now yeah Aquarius energy there. How are Capricorns viewing this situation currently? How are Capricorns viewing this situation? Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped. You're hot though. You're hot and you just don't know what to do. And I feel a lot of you guys are thinking back on how this all started and it started as fun and games and just you know attraction and I'm feeling that right now it's like I should not have started it that way I should have laid down the ground rules from the jump and I feel you guys beating yourselves up over allowing yourself to develop more than just an attraction a sexual attraction to this person it's like you are you know beating yourself up for it <clears throat> what is the influence for Capricorn the eight of Pentacles you you want something solid you want something that you can hang your hat on you want a family you want somebody that's going to give you what you give them you want reciprocity you don't want something that's fleeting a hit and miss hit or miss rather you know you're wanting the ultimate committed relationship is what you're wanting you you want their time and not just in the bedroom you know let's say guys your hopes or fears here two of Pentacles Mm. I feel that you guys want to be sure that if if you stay in this that you can have this ten of pentacles with this person this committed relationship that can endure you don't want this person to keep juggling you and other people you don't want to be somebody's ball up in the air okay that is you you want to make the right decisions you want to get off this roller coaster I feel what is the overall outcome for Capricorns here six of cups <sighs> you know I feel like this is you guys daydreaming honestly thinking about what could be thinking about what you want thinking about how you feel and I feel like you guys are going to end up walking away <coughs> excuse me um, eventually <clears throat> I feel like that's where you are leading to because right now um, you're thinking about the good times you're thinking about what it is that you want and but I see this three of swords energy coming in for you this disappointment this heartache and and what it is that is actually actually influencing you some of you could be working very hard like I said to build a legacy for yourself and you're having to keep yourselves um, balanced 
your life balance, like the areas of your life balance, and not just devote all of yourself to your work. And I don't know if that is what is possibly influencing the situation and this person may not be taking you as serious as you would like for them to. But um, I do see that there is a potential for you guys to be happy with this person. But this requires a lot of hard work on both of your parts though so if you guys are willing to put in the work and talk about it and the other person is as well I see the potential for a very strong connection here but there is a lot of toxic energy that is going back and forth between the two of you and not speaking the truth about what it is that was expected in the relationship in the situation initially because i feel like that is what you are thinking about right now like why didn't i say my truth why didn't i speak my truth so we have gemini libra aquarius scorpio um virgo is here leo's here cancers here all right guys so that's what i have for you and um i'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now